think I need a microphone. Anybody believe I need a microphone? Am I good back there? Yeah, we can hear you. My name is Ken Clark. I'm the regional director for Convention States Project. I run the southeast um, section of the United States, including Arkansas. So first and foremost, before I get into anything, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining us here today, because without you, we would not be able to save our beloved republic. So give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you. Briefly, I know some of you are new to what we're doing, um, some of you are veterans, and, uh, but I want to talk real briefly about, first and foremost, what is Article 5? What are we doing? Did we choose Article 5, or did Article 5 choose us? Article 5 is part of the Constitution. It's in the original text of the Constitution. It was given to us about, by our founders because our founders knew, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that we would ultimately be facing a situation exactly like the one we are in now and that's an out of control federal government. Right? Uh, and anybody here believe those pigs are gonna regulate themselves? No. no, they're not. They knew it then, our founders knew it, so they gave us this gift, this gift called Article 5. It is the only, the only tool state legislators have to fight back against the federal government. It is the only one that is constitutional. So what is it? Basically, it states that there are two ways to propose amendments to the Constitution. Congress can get together and they can propose amendments to the Constitution. So, go back to my original question, anybody believe those pigs are gonna regulate themselves? No. no, they're not. So the second way is the states can get together in the form of a convention to propose amendments to the Constitution. And that is what we are talking about. So it takes 34 states to file an identical resolution to get to convention. At convention, they will deliberate just like any other deliberative body and come up with proposed amendments. Once that's done and we get a majority of the states to agree at convention that a proposed amendment is worthy, they then send it to the states and 38 states have to agree and vote to ratify that amendment. Okay, it is a very, very difficult process. And it should be. It should be. Because amending the Constitution is a very serious thing. It should not be, under, be undertaken lightly. It should be hard, it should be well thought, thought out, and it should be difficult to do. But it should not be impossible to do, and it's not, and that's why we're here. So Convention of States. What are we? What is our mission? And again, Article 5 tells us we did not choose, we did not choose it. The Convention of States Project is a grassroots organization. Millions of people just like you across the country want the United States of America to get back to some sanity. How about some fiscal sanity? Mm -hmm. I mean, are you kidding? We're pushing $20 trillion in debt? I, I can't even imagine the number that big. All right? Overregulation. We know what the issues are. We know what the issues are. So we are a grassroots organization that has come together to be, and we are focused on an issue, but first and foremost, we are a grassroots organization. We want to be able to, and have the numbers and the power to influence our legislators both on the local level and the national level. So that's number one. Number two, we are here to pass the Convention of States resolution, the Article 5 resolution, because I go back to what I had stated earlier. This is the only remedy the states have to fight back against a tyrannical government. And right now we have a tyrannical government. So Article 5 is the solution that is truly as big as the problem. So that is what Convention of States is all about. 